Mayo beat Galway to win what is their 48th ever Connacht title, edging one ahead of the Tribal County. And they made unbelievably hard work of it. You think the amount of scoring chances they missed throughout the course of the game. They just love making it hard on themselves. And maybe it's because they lack sharpshooters close to goal. And maybe it's because poor options. Maybe it's because of selfish play. Sometimes people looking for their own scores. But either way, Mayo made it very hard work. And not only that, they had to rely hugely on basically a, <laughs> a black card cynical foul from Owen McLaughlin towards the end of the game. It was... a. Uh, more or less a rugby slash slide tackle on Sean Kelly in 74th minute. If he goes through and scores a goal or sets one up, that's Mayo gone. A bit like how Cork uh, took the title away from Kerry. It was very much setting itself up for that. But Galway left it just a little bit uh, too late. Once once the black card, which, I mean, at this stage, people who think it's working, it does clean up certain aspects of the game, but it doesn't ultimately stop you pulling people down when it really, really matters. Injury time... You're, two, you're one point up, two points up in this situation. Guy going through on goals. Are you happy to take a black card to make sure they don't get a goal? Of course you are. Does the rule work? Of course it doesn't. It helps. Yeah, it helps. But if you want a cynical foul stamped out of the game or all cynical fouls, you're just going to have to go with a penalty for all cynical fouls because the reason that cynical fouls happen is to stop goal-scoring opportunities. They rarely are to stop point-scoring opportunities unless it's a draw game. So it's generally there for a goal scoring opportunity. So how do you stop cynical play? By punishing teams with a goal or a guilt edge goal chance. Um, that would be certainly my opinion on it. Yes, the, the odd uh, decision would be wrong. Same as there are for every decision. But it cleans things up pretty quickly. It'll stamp out cynical fouls in an even more extreme way. And it also means that there'll be less uh, work for a referee to do. Now we'll have higher stakes decisions to make. When he's going to have to decide is this a penalty decision and maybe there'll be more simulation and you'd hope that that wouldn't uh, wouldn't grow in the game and you do see signs with both hurling and football over the weekend players flopping on the ground a little bit too much but referees wouldn't have to officiate over has that guy been off for 10 minutes for a sin bin yet and look it just doesn't work and i think a penalty is the way to go and i'd love to hear your opinion on it but just going through the game as well paul conroy i think um there was footage flying around and people probably saw it on TV as it happened. He seemed to leave one in on Aidan O'Shea and I think he was very lucky to stay on the field. And considering Conroy was the one who was knocking over the scores for Galway when they needed him, that was a fairly crucial thing that he was allowed to stay on for the game. So much and all as they'll feel upset about the black card tackle late on, which was basically Mayo taking advantage of the rules that are there. And I think anyone would have done that themselves. And we can all think we love to play fair, but if it's coming down the, you know, the, the stretches um, to win a Connacht title and get yourself into what would feel like a very winnable All-Ireland semi-final against Cork or Tipperary, you're certainly going to do it. Bringing uh, Aiden, uh, Damien Comer in, he obviously did a small bit of the warm-up and then left afterwards. We haven't seen him play for Galway. Well, obviously Galway have not have only played one league game since he got injured against Mayo that day when Galway took an awful trounce and he came in, didn't really get into it. But um, 60, like it, it, they, he came on when they were 12-9 down and obviously they came back a little bit closer but it wasn't wouldn't necessarily be because uh, he was influencing the game overly but Mayo should have had it out of sight when Owen McLaughlin ran through it was 11 points to 13 shot saved by Bernard Power probably put it exactly where the goalkeeper wanted it but still a great save and Killian O'Connor missed the 45 then a minute later Dermot O'Connor gets blocked down when he like I think a couple of players passed the ball onto him when they probably could have shot and this is what I come back to do Mayo have the inside shooters that'll kill you they probably don't when you start off with Killian O'Connor and Aidan O'Shea inside or do they have the same sort of danger to turn and go at you like Shane Walsh, Keno, or Conor Callaghan, a few more players like that, David Clifford and whatever. And this is where Mayo tend to get caught out in general. They just can't punish you often enough. And they kept Galway in the game here. And maybe that's what what will cost them ultimately going down the stretch this year. Maybe maybe not. Maybe they'll learn from that and kick on and win the All-Ireland. But um, Galway will definitely kick themselves um, for their shooting towards the end of the game. Uh, Michal Daly had a handy one at uh, 14 points to 11 behind 68 minute. Shane Walsh, who got some brilliant scores. We know that one out on the left flank where he danced in and out and knocked it over the bar. But he had a lovely sort of banana kick cross field to um, Michal Daly. And he was in front of the post, probably 30 yards out. Usually knocked those over with his eyes closed. Then you had those two frees that Shane Walsh missed out on the right flank, which he took with his left foot. And a player like him who can kick him off both feet. You're probably not going to complain too much. But I wondered with Gary Sice on the field, and you know, even last year, if you go back with Cara Finn, he had a late free to 
to level the county final against Tume Stars to take it on to a replay, which they won. But Gary Sice on the field, natural left-footed kicker, would he have been the man to do it? Now, I don't know, do you take Shane Walsh off any free ever really normally? But I don't know, Gary Sice, you know he's got the temperament for it. So, you know, I was wondering about that one. And this, is Park Joyce counting the cost of using Damien Comer in a league game when he didn't really need to? Um, because he certainly could have used him in this game here. Brian Walsh came on and scored two points for Mayo. That's not to be ignored. Paddy Durkin, brilliant again. Like Shane Walsh was also very good. But um, Mayo just about true and certainly um, bent the rules in their favour. Um, but it doesn't matter how you do it. That's Mayo back on top in Connacht.